Welcome to Hyperfine Academy. Today I'm sharing 50 things I do most frequently in Revit. Let's get started. Align. Click on the first object. Click on the second object. Now your design is way better. Array. AR. Click on the object. AR to start the command. I usually don't group and associate. Type in the total number you want, including the one you have selected. Click anywhere. Drag in the direction you want to go. And just type in the value you want. Place a component, CM. This will be things like toilets, casework, furniture. Up here, use the search command so you don't have to scroll through everything in your project. Copy. Select the object, CO, click, move, click. Now you have two. Create similar. Makes another thing of the thing you have selected. Cut profile, CX. This is drafting only, one view only. It doesn't change your model. After you hit CX, select the object you want to change, draw a line in between the orange boundaries, point the arrow to the side you want to keep, and hit OK. Now the finished floor doesn't go through the chipboard. Dimensions, DI. See my other video. Detail line, DL. Great for drafting and other things, like more drafting. Mirror, DM. Select your object, start your command. I like to draw the line. You could also do it with MM and just pick a line that's already there. Door. Override graphics and view by element. This has all the same visibility graphics options you're used to, but will only affect the object or objects you have selected. Edit type. Select an object and edit type. You usually want to duplicate so that you only affect the object that you have selected. In this instance, I don't want every door in the entire project to be 36 inches. Just this one that I selected right now. Filter selection. This is a great way to select objects if your drawing is starting to get crowded. Select everything, hit FF, and use the dialog to select just what you want. Grid lines, GR. They'll automatically number sequentially, so make sure you start with the number that you want. This is a good use of the array tool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you want to go the opposite direction with ABC, let's start with A. Let's change it here first. That way, It'll make the next one be HC, temporary hide a category. HH, temporary hide an element. HI, temporary isolate an element. And HR will reset all of those. HT, half tone element. HY, half tone a category. That's the same as going to visibility graphics and coming down and checking the half tone button. KS opens up your keyboard shortcuts. You can export yours, you can change them, or you can import custom ones. I've been using a lot of custom shortcuts in this video. Visit the link in the description to download them for free. LF, load family. M comma, open up your material settings. Match type, MA. This is an easy way to change the type of an object to one that's close by. Move command, select your object, MV. Point in the direction you want to go and type in your value. This is almost always better than using the arrow keys. Paint, PT. This is a great way to change the appearance of an object, but it doesn't change the actual properties. So it will change the appearance of this wall in all views, except if this is modeled as a brick wall, it will remain a brick wall in plan, section, and in schedules. QW to edit line work. Come up here and check what style you want the line to be, and then just select the line. For walls, you usually have to do twice, once for each side of the wall. Scale, RE. Select your object, start the command. Select the base point, select the reference point, and drag in the direction you want to go. I want to scale it larger. Then just type in the new value. This is not the most accurate way to make a measurement, but if this was an underlay as as-built drawings, that's definitely good enough to get you started. Filled region, RF. This is a great drafting and annotation tool. Select your line style up here, select what pattern you want up here, and draw your filled region. To create rooms, start your room command, RM, and then just click in areas that are bounded by walls. If you want to create a room in an area that's not bounded by walls, use your room separator tool and draw a line between two walls. If you want to create a room that spans across a wall, select that wall and uncheck room bounding. Rotate, RO. Select your object, start the command. Come down and drag the base point to where you want to start your rotation. Select your reference line and drag in the direction. It's always best to type an actual value. Room tag, RT, in case it didn't tag on placement. 
select all, SA, selects all visible instances of an object in that view. SE, create a section. Use these arrows to flip which way it's facing. Double click on the arrow part and you can go to the view. Split face, SF, start the command and then hover over the face of the wall you want to affect. Draw a line anywhere that connects these two boundaries of the wall and hit OK. Now you've got two faces on your wall that you can paint separately. Split line, SL. Unlike split face, this is actually changing your model. Sync to central, SS. This is only valid if you're working in a work sets enabled model. I always do, even if I'm the only person in that project. Always make sure user created work sets is checked so you don't lock anyone else out of the model. Tag objects, TG. Uncheck leader and just start clicking on the objects. You can always go to annotate, tag all. Thin lines, TL. This is the view how it will plot. A lot of times it's easier to work with thin lines. Trim. Add text notes, TX. They come with built-in leaders. VV or VG to get to visibility graphics. This will change the visual appearance of everything in this view. WA, create a wall. WN, create a window. Windows must be hosted by walls. You can't create a window over here. Wall reveal, WR. Make sure to set it to horizontal or vertical, depending on how you want. You often have to reset the command to change orientation. If you select the reveal, you can come to edit type and see how that profile is being generated. Wall sweep is similar. This is great for trim. Control shift left arrow to reselect the last selection. If you had this selected, you clicked off, you want it again. Control left arrow. This is also good for going into 3D view. If you lost your selection, select it again. There it is. Paste align to current view. This is good if you want to see what the vertical relationship is between areas or paste objects directly above or below where they are. I'm on the second floor, control C. Come to the first floor, the shortcut is control shift V. That's where the closet is. Now those windows are in alignment. And that's it. 50 Revit basics in seven and a half minutes. Things you can do today to get started and to become more proficient in Revit. I used a lot of custom shortcuts in this video. You can download them for free along with a one-page handout at hyperfinearchitecture.com. Check out the resources page. If you have a suggestion for future tutorial, leave a comment, and thank you for watching.